Hello, my name is Jordan, and today we're back in NIMBY Rails. Um, I decided that today what we're going to do is we're going to build several um, extensions to various stops that we have. So um, some tram systems maybe in Tacoma. Um, possibly in Centralia, so that we can get some uh, some traffic from Chehalis as well. Um, possibly Kelso and Longview. Um, and then also expanding Seattle, so getting some of the traffic uh, from Mercer Island, uh, maybe building a tram that goes along the West Bank here of the um, of like Washington, um, and uh, possibly over here as well. Uh, maybe extending the subway lines, uh, but overall just um, kind of extending the total catchment um, area that is available to our various long distance lines, um, and kind of continuing to encourage that transfer-oriented um, behavior of our passengers. Um, and this is probably going to require us to go through and adjust some of the other lines uh, so that they are able to uh, carry the passenger load correctly. Um, but we'll see. Um, another thing that I entertained was the idea of taking this this red line um, up into the Space Needle stop and then taking it over here to Magnolia Village. Um, but I don't know, there's a lot of opportunities. Um, so to give you an idea of the sort of thing, um, I did this off screen. This is just a little tram uh, system for Olympia. Pretty simple. Um, it covers the important points over on the west side of uh, Olympia. Uh, it doesn't go up into the peninsula here, um, but it greatly extends the um, the total number of passengers uh, that we might get into the Olympia Union Station. Um, so this is exactly the sort of thing that we're going to do in other places. So let's start with um, start with some updates to Seattle. So first, I'm thinking something simple, um, and for that, I'm thinking just getting a tram system that goes through Mercer Island here. So for that, what we want is just we're going to start with Tram, double, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to bring it over over here at all. So this will be the terminus. So we want this, this uh, scissor uh, interchange at the ends. All right. And now where are we going to take it? Just take it down the street. That looks like a good idea. So then, let's turn that off. Want one right here. And right here. And then We'll say right there. Okay. All right, and uh, oh, this one is the terminus station. It needs to have the scissor interchanges. So let's go back and fix that. Add on. Okay. All right, now we can go. 
we'll start from down here. So just like this. And just bring it straight up. We're just going to take it right where the road goes. So this will be simulating a, um, an uh, on street tram line um, instead of grade separated. Um, not that we really get, you know, the full simulation of that where we have to deal with delays due to traffic and so on, but that's fine. All right, and we're almost done with the Mercer Island stuff. All right, now I'm going to cut right through there, I think. So we'll go up, 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 like this, and then like that. All right, and that's our Mercer Island line. Now, another line that we could do is something like this. Um, it probably connect in here and connect in here and then go down. Um, this might be something that's a little more suited to a, another subway line. Um, but I'm thinking about whether or not um, it's worth the money to build to build that. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, this is this is built. We don't want. Um, we don't want this just hanging out. So we'll go ahead and build these blueprints. Beaumont. All right, and we'll rename this one to Mercer Heights. Um, I did go through and rename. Uh, at some point, um, most of the stations uh, that I felt needed needed some kind of uh, different name. Um, there's probably still a few more, but I got most of them. So let's... Um... All right, well, let's do this as a subway and just see how much it would cost. Um, I did run the, the simulation for a little while um, to generate uh, more balance. Um, but I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in, um, doing something that is insanely expensive for every single, um, for every single thing that we do, you know, so probably look like that and then like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going this way. Might be good actually to hit Beacon Hill and then go to Rainier Vista. And then maybe in the future we have a north-south line that also goes to Beacon Hill, but then makes a turn over here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. So we're going to do this. Bring it. 
so it's like that. This. This. Where is SeaTac? Okay, so this is the airport. Mm. Do we want this to go all the way to the airport? And then maybe a um, tram line into Renton. Or we could just go straight to Renton. Oh, let's just go straight into Renton. Okay. So this is going to end up being nearly a billion dollars, probably. Um, all right, so this one would need to be... Well, we can come back and change this out for um, a terminus station if we decide to, to go with uh, the subway. But right now we're just kind of pricing it out. Ah. Okay, and here we go. So seven hundred twenty three million. Hmm. Okay, well, this will be a very high traffic corridor if we build this. So this might actually be worth it. Maybe this is the episode where we just blow <laughs> the rest of our money. <clears throat> And we have to uh, run the simulation for a while in order to make up make up the uh, balance. All right, so let's delete that, and we'll delete this, and we're gonna do this as a terminus station. There we go. Now let's go through. This is written. Skyway Park. Yeah, that's fine. Maple Woods, that's also fine. Fellow Park, also fine. Rainier Vista, that's good. This will change to Beacon Hill. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep that. This we will change to uh, okay, so this is Washington Park right here. Um, I don't want to name it Washington Park because we also have a Washington Park stop in Portland, so that could be kind of confusing. Um
And we'll just name it Madison Valley. All right, and this is Montlake. Excellent. Okay. Let's build all blueprints. Build. All right. Now let's put in some lines. All right, this one will be. Uh, this is too similar of a color. So we'll make this one a orange. Seattle subway. Um, West Lake, I guess we'll call this West Lake. Okay, so Seattle subway four, and this is two and two five. All right, um, and let's put the stops in. Is that there? And just go all the way through. So this is going to provide some much needed connection um, to other areas of Seattle. Um, and it is also going to most likely um, give us a pretty significant increase in overall ridership in Seattle. Um, these these two lines, uh, it's also very, very likely going to overwhelm the, um, the Redmond line that we have. Um, I don't know, maybe the Redmond line can handle it, but, but we'll see. Um, okay, so we have these. And now let's add some trains. Um, so I I was using these. These are the ones that I used for the trams in um, in Olympia. Uh, this is much more of a tram um, train. Uh, the main reason that I ended that I that I used the the Stadler is um, because of the maintenance cost on trams. I just wanted something that had a very low maintenance cost. Um, but these these have an even lower maintenance cost and they're they're more correct for um, for a tram. So I switched to these for the Olympia one and I'll probably go through and fix the existing tram lines that they use this instead at some point. Um, but uh, we'll we'll do that later. So for now, um, what I want is I want to see what do the Seattle lines, because I think I used for the, yeah. So I used type B Metro for the Seattle ones, and I used type A Metro for the Portland ones. But that wasn't on purpose. I think the type B Metro carries less people, um, but otherwise they're pretty much the same. Um, might have different costs as far as maintenance goes. Oh, they definitely do. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just continue using the Type B Metro. You can see Type B Metro for all of the uh, the Seattle ones. So we'll just keep using the Type B. Um, let's see, Type B Metro. And there we go. And we're going to want probably eight of them. I'd imagine. Okay. So there we go. What do we have? Seven minute intervals? That should be good. So let's go back up here. So seven minute intervals on that. And then we want, uh, so let's turn it on. Um, and then we want, uh, let's see, Seattle Tram Mercer Island. Uh, Island. <laughs> okay, so this is the first tram line in Seattle. So it's S E A T 1. 
This is one and one five is the standard pricing I was using. And let's go ahead and set this up. It's so nice once you have um, these Uh, sorry, what? Oh, that is strange. What? I wonder what happened there. Well, let's, uh, okay, so it works now. That was weird. I could have sworn that those were connected. Um, hmm. Well, in any case, it's fixed now. Uh, so let's go ahead and add the these. Um, I also have these. Uh, the S70. It's the Siemens S70. So this is actually the um, the light rail uh, train that's used in Portland. Uh, it's the Siemens S70. Um, but the maintenance cost on these is so much higher. Um, so they can go faster, but the, the maintenance cost is so much higher um, for a tram line that it just doesn't make sense. But I did I did get this off of the um, off of the Steam Workshop. So here we go. Uh, we don't need eight of them. Maybe four? Five minute intervals, that's fine. Okay, so now we have these two lines. So what we normally do, let it run. Where? What's the deal? Closed, that's the deal. <laughs> oh, it's the simple things. All right, so let's see if these are running into passenger capacity problems. Well, I guess it's a little late at night. Okay. Well, let's let this run for a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so right around noon, it's fine. All right, so here's the West Lake. You can see the Olympia trams, the Tumwater in West Olympia. Um, okay. So this this subway line is the least profitable subway line. Ah, well, now it's picking up a bit, but it's one of the less traveled subway lines um, that we've built. So maybe this would have been better as a tram, um, but it's certainly turning a profit. So we're we're fine. Um, let's look at. Twenty. All right. Let's look at uh, stations and percent capacity. Okay. Are we getting any that are peaking up in the eighties, nineties? It doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. So that's working.
Excellent. So maybe we should extend these, um, the Aurora line and the University of Washington line. Um, if we extended this one up, we would go through Victory Heights, Kenwood, Lake Forest Park, and then Bothell. Um, if we extended the Redmond line, we would either go into Union Hill or we would go up and meet this line in Bothell. Um, I don't think we would loop them. Uh, what we'd probably do is just have a, a two-way terminus station. Um, Another option um, is to build a tram system from Kirkland down through Bellevue and then Eastgate. Um, Kirkland is a pretty underserved area um, in our current in our current map, um, so that's also an option. But Seattle has quite a bit now, so let's let's look at uh, look at Tacoma. So we could get something over to University Place. Might be a little challenging to get it all the way out there. Um, just go straight down to Parkland. Okay, yeah, so we'll build a tram system out here too. So the first one is going to be, um, so this one is not going to be a terminus. I'll show you what I'm thinking here. Um, so this is going to go up. Um, we'll say up here, and then up towards this direction. So we'll say it just follows the water. This will be the waterfront line to the park. Like that. So that'll be that. And then it will come down through here. All right. And then down into Parkland. Excellent. So now we need to change these into terminus stations. Okay, there's that one. All right. And now we just connect this up. Uh, okay, that needs to be 
fixed. <laughs> All right, let's 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 make sure that these are not. Yeah, these were drawn a little hasty. Let's straighten these out. I'm on the right path. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Okay. Goes up here. And this. And then like that. Well. So what we'll do is we'll bring it over like this. Okay. This needs to get over. So we'll go up to here. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. Okay. From here. Just need to get into the waterfront. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then after this line is built, uh, how are we going to bring this up here? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll bring it up like this. Across. Okay, so now that this is built, uh, what we want is a line that goes like this. So we'll build, this one does need to be a terminus. So we'll do this, like here. And we'll go straight this straight out. All right, so let's build these stations out. So one right here. One right here. And right there. Want to Olympic Terrence there. And then I suppose like this. And so we could do like a mini loop, actually. Now, let's try that. That's different than anything we've done. It would be interesting. So for this, we don't want to double track it. What we want is single track. So we do a single track. This. And then we have another one. Maybe down here. This. And then another one right here. And another one right here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so now we can go and adjust these, make sure that we got them in the right places. It's fine. This one's fine. Okay, so now we don't need um, 
we don't need the scissor interchanges because we're going to make a little loop here at the end. So we just select this. Um, actually, we can do the double down to about here. And then we change it to single, and we do this, and single, and this. Okay. Like that. Straight in. This is going to go straight. And then this. Okay. Let's see now. Mm. All right, so we'll cut across here. That'll be fine. And then connect this in. All right. And now that's our end loop. So we switch it back, double track. Bring it up. All right, and then same thing. We want to make sure that this is in the right position. Okay. So we'll go back through. And finish connecting up our tram line. So the idea, the idea behind all of these extensions is really that um, you know the more the more complete our our local networks are. Um, the more options we have for building out um, some of the more interesting uh, long distance lines. And, um, you know, that's, that's really just what I, I want to do. I want to give us lots of options for, for building out uh, long distance lines. I mentioned uh, before that I'd like to um, you know, take a line out east at some point. Um, we still need to finish the rest of the west coast line, obviously. Uh, okay, so this is basically all of Tacoma, um, and we get it for under $30 million. That is pretty good. Awesome. So let's go ahead and build that. 
and let's make our lines. All right. So first we will do this line. Okay, and that's that. So let's turn this to full just so that we don't forget. Um, and maybe six, nine minute timings. Add another two. Six minute timings, there we go. Okay, so let's name it. This is Tacoma Tram, and it's the University Place. University Place. So this is TAC T1. And then one and one point five. Okay. Cool. Now we do this line. Um hmm. I wonder if we should start it at one of the end. Yeah, let's start it at the end. There it is again. Is this some kind of bug? Let's, uh, okay, so let's delete this, delete tracks. I'm really not sure what's causing that. I mean, it's easy enough to fix, but that seems that seems like it's a bug, not like I'm messing up the build. I don't think I would have done that uh, multiple times in the same in the same uh, session here. I don't know, maybe when I go back and edit the video, I'll see that, yep, I totally missed it. Okay, so let's change this color. That was kind of a pink. We'll make this kind of a, there we go, like a sea foam. Oh, it's going along the sea. That works. All right, one, one, five, Tacoma, tram. Waterfront, Waterfront Parkland. Okay, and this is TAC T2. All right, and for this, we're probably going to need like 10. Seven minute timings? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so let's. Uh, well, let's make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right. So now let's watch it go.
Okay. Well, this looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the station. Wow. Lots of passengers. Temple Theater. Where is Temple Theater? Is it one of these? There it is, Temple Theater. So were people very unhappy about that. They must have just got off of one of the local lines. Um, I wonder. Ooh, that is almost full. And this? Also almost full. Okay, so then we need, and this is one of the things I was thinking might happen, we need to increase the number of trains on here. Um, and we'll add four more. And that'll give us 18 minute timings. Okay. So hopefully that'll help alleviate um, this problem a little bit. Because now we're, we're generating too many, uh, too many passengers for the frequency that we were running. So it'll take a little while for the, the train service to catch up with the new timings, but um, hopefully, yeah, see. Wow, 9.59. All right. Well speed it up a bit. Okay, so now the timing should be all evened out. And let's look at some of these stations and... Ooh, wow, that's getting close to maximum. Park Place North. We've only been waiting. Let's see. Where did they? Okay, group by destination show trips. Park Place North. No, no, no. Um, show all. Okay, Redmond, Lake Ridge, Renton, Overlake, Overlake. Okay, so a lot of these people are coming from the Seattle area, and it took them three hours to get here? How did it take them three hours to get here? Oh, that's how. Okay, so we might need to run a, a express service from Seattle to Tacoma um, and back. Let's see. So how would we handle that? Um, that is far too long of a distance to run a subway. Um, it makes more sense for us to utilize the track that we already have. However, this is not set up with the scissor interchange. So for it to turn around, um, hmm. And we kind of want it to bypass the Poo Yellup station, probably. So how do we want to handle that? Um, because I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to increase the West Coast local even more. Um, well, maybe it does. What are we looking at here? 591. 
and 68. Wow. Hmm. So even so, many of these trains are actually quite full. So we might need to, um, yeah, we might need to actually just increase the total number of trains, just reduce the timings, uh, or maybe run some different trains. What other, what other trains do we have here? Um, so this is what we were running, the Thallus. Uh, and that gets us a thousand. Um, this gets us fewer passengers. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, this is a yeah. This is a tram. To be. Oh, interesting. To put together like a whole. Huh. Passengers 92. 60. 64. Fascinating. PGV duplex, two sets, one set. These are like presets. That's interesting. Man, this has changed since the last time I did it. I Since the last time I've done these. Coach. Training. Okay. It's 210. E. Hmm, so we might not have a better train to, uh, we might not have a better train run. Yeah. So we're just going to have to put more of the same train, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So we just need more of these. Not, not really anything else we can do. Um, so in that case, how many more do we need? Six more. Thirteen minute timings. Oh, let's give us a shot and see how this works out. Still full. Wow. Wow. This is insane. Um, group by destination. Hmm. Wow, so it's really down here. Fox Glen, Field B, Nantucket West, 
Amber's Crown, Olympic Terrence, Mailroom. So everybody's trying to get on this line. That's interesting. Um, this is full. Wow, so when that means that when the train drops people off in Tacoma, we're going to have, because these can hold a max of about 300, so we're going to have three full trains worth. So realistically, we actually need to run even tighter timings on this university place line. So we need more of these. Uh, how many do we have? Uh, eight trains? Okay. So, four? That's going to take us down to below five minute timings. Okay. And then we do need an express line that's just we're not going to solve this with um uh we're not going to solve this with uh a limited or uh, just an increase in this west coast local line this needs to be a direct seattle to tacoma thing um and i don't really see a better way of doing that than reutilizing this line but um, that's going to be logistically very difficult. So, um, what word about 40 ish minutes recorded? All right. Well, you know what? That gives us something really interesting to do in the next episode. So, um, I will hold off on recording um, the next episode um, and solving this problem until this one gets posted so that I can actually get some feedback on what you guys think would be a good solution to this. Um, we could add additional track along here um, and signaling and just run a, a line from Seattle to Tacoma and back, kind of a, an express no stops type thing. Um, we would need to run some bypass track on Puyol, um because we wouldn't want it to uh, go through the station there. Um, we could also look for a shorter routing, maybe up this way. Um, that would be perhaps a little challenging, but it might be worth it. Um, it would also be more expensive, obviously. Um, if we did that, uh, we would have maybe some uh, some other challenges to think about. But um, anyway, so I'll leave it here. Um, we obviously created some very good lines uh, because they are causing <laughs> problems for us as far as having too many people. So, uh, you know, mission accomplished there. Um, and I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on how we can solve the new problem that we have. So, anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you next time.